this park is actually uh, near and dear to my heart. I used to come down with my father years ago when really all it was was a parking lot and then the restrooms and a small playground. And he used to love to come and just watch the barge traffic. So I have a, a lot of really good memories of, uh, of being here. I'm Councilman Rick Blackwell, and I'm here today to introduce you to Riverview Park. She loves this park. Oh, well, good. We love that she loves this park. <laughs> it was important to me to make it a better amenity than what I enjoyed as a child. One of the first few years we had it back here. And we're going to talk to several folks who've been helpful, actually instrumental. It does definitely bring a different level and type of maintenance. And helping us to grow this park into the wonderful park that it is today. <laughs> How to do this. Clinton Decker, who helped us reimagine and then uh, redo Riverview Park. He was here from the beginning, so uh, he understands the history and what we've done over the years here at Riverview. Back in 2010, we remodeled this park. Originally, when you drove over the flood wall, there was a, a large parking lot that people used to come up and access the boat ramp, so it was up on the uh, upper side. Uh, a small playground, a block structure which had, I think, uh, a couple restrooms on septic tanks, so it was, it was like a glorified outhouse. That was demolished. Playground was relocated, and we're standing in that area right now. About double the size. Of, added a bunch of dirt along the flood wall. We were very fortunate to get some elevation and some different views. Very fortunate that the Corps of Engineers allowed us to do that. We created some paths and added a bunch of amenities, picnic tables, trash cans, swinging benches, a pavilion, and then we went across the flood wall and, and did something as a more of an entrance up there. The splash park was actually too small in the beginning. It was just overwhelming. So we doubled the size of that uh, a couple years ago and it could be doubled again. It's so popular. <laughs> It out a hot day. We plan on putting some pickleball courts on the other side of the flood wall, on the dry side. When we redid the park, and of course it went from just having a few people down here to having lots of folks down here, and so we added uh, cameras that are connected to the real-time crime center, and so both on this side as well as on the other side of the flood wall, we have cameras that are always operational. Hopefully uh, helps us with uh, some of the issues that we have with, you know, with vandalism. It, it has definitely helped with that, but also it's uh, helped uh, keep down some of the you know, more shady kinds of uses for the park, more of the legal activity in the park. It's been an investment of millions of dollars in this park. District 12 funds have been invested. We also have been fortunate enough to get some of my colleagues to put more money into the budget in order to fund the splash park and so on. It's well used. When I first got in office, I was talking to a grandma and she was saying, she was lamenting the fact that we have a park down here, but we don't have any water features, that, that the only areas, you know, we don't really have many areas in our end of town where you can, where you can, you know, where you have public access to water other than the river, which isn't a, a terribly safe thing for, especially for a young child. Um, and so that's what got us thinking, you know, well, we, we should be able to do something down here and the, working on having much of, a much better view. You know, we call it River View Park for a reason. It's got a beautiful um, river view. But then when we started into it, we very quickly realized that we needed expertise. Parks does some wonderful um, work, but when it comes to making the investment in a park where you actually have the river to contend with, um, we ask uh, Waterfront to come down and share that expertise. The lower level parking lot that's there for the boats, it gets flooded every year. You know, well, lots of times every year. You know, the water comes up, sometimes comes all the way up to the top where our swings are. So it had to be designed uh, in, in a way that it would, could withstand that, knowing that you're going to get that. Uh, but Waterfront Park gets that every year as well, and so we went to the experts who knew how to address those issues. We ordered this up just for you, Deborah, because we knew how much you liked good weather. I'm here with Deborah Belitsky, the Executive Director of Waterfront Development, talking about what a wonderful partnership it has been over the years with Waterfront in developing this beautiful park. It has. I've enjoyed working with you and really trying to utilize what we have learned over the past 30 years in developing the downtown waterfront uh, and waterfront park there and incorporating some of those lessons learned and uh, bringing that expertise that our team has to Riverview Park as well. Well, it's a beautiful park. There are some differences between parks that are on the river, uh, including the water doesn't always stay where it's at. Uh, so we appreciate your expertise, especially uh, with the 
uh, the lower tier parking lot. Yeah, I mean, the river is the boss. The river always wins. We are sort of just at the mercy of, of how she decides to ebb and flow. And so it does definitely bring a different level and type of maintenance that's required. And certainly when it comes to constructing within that area, that's going to endure some regular flooding, uh, the types of things that you put in and how you uh, engineer everything to really withstand that kind of wear and tear. And then of course, when you have a river view like you have here at Riverview, you're going to get a lot of people who just want to come and use it. So it's going to get a lot of a lot of traffic as well. It does, it does indeed. And the traffic has picked up immensely since we've added some of the amenities, including swings that we have that overlook the river. They're very popular. They are very popular at Waterfront Park for sure. And it just seemed like a fitting thing to do to extend that here. Uh, the river view that you get here is quite different than what you get downtown. and. Uh, like you said, it's particularly here in the, the lower McAlpin, the river uh, comes up and down and being at this beautiful vantage point to watch just how the river changes on a regular basis. I was just talking with these gentlemen back here who are regulars, talking about how the river really takes on a different personality just about every day. So it, it never gets tiring to come down and enjoy the river view, so why not have a lovely place to sit and enjoy it? It is just great working with you and being able to help connect another area of our community with the river and make sure that our riverfront areas are here for the community to enjoy forever. John Grant, our partner in helping to pull off the Riverview Festival here, here at the park. Yeah, Rick, it's been really enjoyable all these years. I've been able to help you guys out, and the park has really come along the way it's been developed for the community. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about that history of Riverview Independence Festival. I know we got started, uh, I think, 13 years ago. I think we only did one of them before you came on board to help us out. Yeah, we're looking to expand it and, and make it a more viable event for the community. So I had a little experience in doing these things. And one of the first few years, we had it back here where the stage was set up. And um, as the event grew, we were able to refine the park a little bit more, create a natural amphitheater so people can sit up. And most recently, Brick and the city have added a number of additional elements to the uh, children's play area. And I came down here today, I was a little surprised. I saw, you know, you've got like six new picnic tables and, yeah. and four or five new grills. Yeah. So that's really going to help out this year. It will. It yeah. will. We just keep adding. Because this is such a great view. Did you see what I saw earlier? Are you talking about the eagle? The bald eagle that yeah. just went across. That was, yeah. that was something wonderful. Yeah. You know, this year is going to be great, too. Not only has the park been expanded, but we're going to have a great lineup once again. Yeah. Uh, we've got uh, a very unique little thing, um, musical group. It's called Yappa. Okay, right. and it's a combination of bluegrass and Latin music combined. And they, it's really educational, it's really fun. And then we have a high energy uh, uh, band, uh, Cheryl Rouse and her oh. band's coming back. Cheryl's a crowd favorite. She is, she is. And then we were able to, because we did some planning in advance, we've got one, another favorite that uh, around the community is J.D. Cheryl Byrne. Yes. And he's coming off, he's coming off his uh, recent release, Neon ha Hallelujah. And uh, the country music television is giving that rave reviews. So we're looking forward to everybody being able to come down and enjoy, enjoy down here. It is free. And you know, not only do we have the music, but we have a number of uh, children's activities that will be happening. We're bringing the Echo Mobile this year. The magic's gonna happen down here. What we're gonna do is in this little parking lot area, starting on Friday, we'll start building a stage. Sound and lights will come in on Saturday. The, uh, this area has been refined over the years to create a natural amphitheater so people can sit up and put their blankets out and, and get close to the show to see it. So it's gonna be a great time. And then the grand finale uh, at 10 o'clock. Fireworks! Fireworks! <laughs> well, thank you so much for all that you do and all that you have done over the years. It's my pleasure. Now that you've learned a little bit about the park, I invite you to come out and enjoy all the amenities that we have here. And especially we'd like to invite you on June 29th to come out for Riverview Independence Festival. It's a great opportunity to come out and enjoy some fun, family-friendly activities. Everything is free. They have bands, uh, we have uh, fireworks at the end, uh, and lots of great time on the splash park in between.